Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So in the previous video, we discussed about the output response of a second order system to unit step input for the under damped case. Okay, so always remember this second order system, unit step input and under damped case. It is the very important case condition for a second order system and we found out the mathematical expression for its output the time domain output and then we uh, drawn the uh, output waveform now the in that video we discussed about four important parameters just we briefly we just uh, evaluated the four or five important parameters such as the delay time rise time peak time and settling time in this video we are going to discuss about them in detail and we will uh, just write down their mathematical expression okay so first is delay time what is the delay time now the definition of delay time this is the output response okay this is the steady state value okay this is the peak value now delay time is the time at which the output response reaches half of the steady state value this this value half of the steady state value this is the steady state value okay This is the steady state value. This is half of the steady state value. So the time at which the output response reaches half of the steady state value that is called as the delay time. Okay, at the first instant, for the first time. Okay, this, this in time instant, this value is called as the delay time and it mathematically the mathematical expression for it is 1 plus 0 0.7 jeta by omega n jeta is the damping ratio omega n is the natural frequency of oscillation okay so delay time the definition of delay time is the time instant at which the output response reaches half or 50% of the steady state value at the first instant for the first time and the mathematical expression is 1 plus 0 0.7 jeta by omega subscript n okay so the next parameter is the rise time okay the rise time So again, let us see where the rise time is. Okay, this point, this value, time instant. Now, we know this is the steady state value and the rise time we can see from this waveform, from this figure, that the rise time is that time instant at which the output response reaches the steady state value for the first time. Okay. So the rise time, the definition of rise time is the time instant at which the output response reaches the steady state value for the first time. Okay, that is the rise time. Okay, for the first time, by saying the first time, I mean this is the first time. We call it n equals to 1. This we call n equals to 2 and so on n equals to 3 4 5 and so on okay sorry this is n equals to 2 this is n equals to 3 sorry and n equals to 4 5 6 okay this is n equals to 2 then it is n equals to 3 and so on the peaks positive and negative peaks okay 
Now, the mathematical expression for rise time is TR is equal to pi, okay, pi minus phi by omega subscript t. Okay, we discussed about this and this in the previous video from the damping ratio triangle we discussed about these things so you please check out that video first okay so which is pi minus phi by omega n into root over of 1 minus theta square this is the damped frequency of oscillation okay its value is omega n into root over 1 minus theta square okay i have discussed about these things in the previous video so please check out that video first okay so another important thing is that here the unit of pi is in radians so this angle okay which is from the damping ratio triangle we uh, calculated okay phi which can be written as cos inverse of geta or we can write it as uh, sine inverse of root over of 1 minus theta square okay or we can write it as tan inverse of 1 minus theta square by theta okay we can write it in various ways okay so it depends on you which formula you want to remember which is easy for you so the important thing is that this should also be expressed in radians Okay, the relationship between radians and degrees is that pi radian is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, always remember that pi is equal to 3.14. So all the units must be same. Okay, it's not that you express pi in radians. Okay, that is pi radians and this is in degrees. The result will be wrong. The answer will be wrong. So always express the things in one unit okay preferably in radians because this is in radians pi radians so phi this angle should also be measured in terms of radians converted into radians okay so this is uh, uh, the expression for rise time okay pi minus phi by omega n into root over of 1 minus zeta square okay so this is the expression for rise time so the next parameter which we have to discuss is the peak time okay peak time okay let us do that 